70%, not like 100% they look like. We can make like 100% look like the photo. Oh, was oh, it bleeding? It did really hurt, but I didn't want to say anything. Oh, it's okay. I, I don't know if I should go to the ER at this point. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be going to the worst reviewed nail salon that I could possibly find in my area. And I'm going to get one hand done, and then I'm going to go to a five star salon and get the other hand done. I'm going to ask for the same exact design and everything. It was really, really hard to find a really bad place. One place I did find was two stars because the one star place that I found was uh, shut down doesn't exist but yeah this two-star place honestly has awful reviews when you open the google actually it has like a cracked broken nail that's bleeding and it says awful experience this happened to three of my nails because the manager lady did such a bad job somebody else said that this is the dirtiest salon that they've ever been to they changed their mind to get their nails done here because it was so nasty no negative star options to give this place deserves it if i could give it zero stars they used the exact same bucket of tools on someone else. Lady who did her nails burned her several times. This place makes me nervous. Like, it, it really sounds bad. And honestly, I have really bad germophobia, so like, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. 30 minutes away, it's kind of a really sketchy area, I think, so definitely gonna bring my pepper spray, and I hope you guys appreciate the content, because, you know, yes, prices are rising, so let's get going, so I'm not late. Okay. So I forgot to show you guys the nail design. This is what I'm gonna ask for for both places. I want like the exact same length and shape. Um, so it shouldn't be too hard, but we'll see how they do. Once I walk in there, I noticed the sign. It said that they wanted payment before the nails were even done. A little bit suspicious and this lady is doing my nails and then they tell me that for the coffin shape i actually have to pay even more oh five dollars extra for coffin yeah yes. the oh. fool said i told you yesterday twenty dollars uh-huh but the car but the coffin shape is five dollars extra yeah they didn't tell me that beforehand this lady was already making the coffin shape and then i let her know i'm just gonna do regular just because i found it weird that they were charging for that 70 percent is not like 100 percent they look like oh, okay 70 percent like the photo yeah. Okay. We can, everybody is the same. We can make like 100% look like a, the photo in there. We oh, saw, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. So she did apply a really thick coat of acrylic, and to dry it faster, she did take out a fan. This fan was blowing at me. As you can tell, the desk is really dirty. And then she just kept it on while she was filing my nails. Then she takes out this needle like drill. I have never seen this drill before. It was so scary. <laughs> And to be honest, she wasn't really getting all the right spots, so she would kind of hit my skin with it, and yeah, it hurt. Um, could we turn off the fan? Sorry, it's getting in my eyes. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. This is the point where things go so downhill. One, my eyes are watering from all the stuff that got in my eyes. Then she takes out another drill and she cuts me. Oh, oh was it bleeding? Oh, yeah, it, it did really hurt, but I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> So she did cut me pretty deep and she went to get a liquid to put into the cut. I don't know why, it honestly really burned. Oh, that might burn. I'm what is that? Uh no no. Okay, okay. Do you know what that is? The blue liquid? I just wondering because uh my finger kind of burns. I tried washing it and I don't know if it's just from the cut, but do you know what ingredient it is or no no not in me. Oh no, okay. You no. Well? Yeah, this is bad because in the reviews they said they don't clean the tools and then she started putting toilet paper to like clean it off. I don't know what is going on here. I'm sorry. I'm laughing because I'm like, what the heck? For this one, if I could do like a nail art. Uh, one nail design, if you are the same like this. Um, yes. Okay, if this one be uh, like six dollar for your nail. Okay. Oh, you don't have the white color, or? I have white color, but the big nail color, the big oh. color. Oh. So they didn't have the color I needed for under the floral design, but they had that color. She said that that was going to be the closest, and it was like a darker pink. 
but for some reason she used a bright red and you guys it was so hard not to laugh when she was doing this because this is so off from the photo that I showed them. Like, I'm laughing right now just looking at this footage. Honestly, the only thing that she did right is she used the right color in this shot. Yeah, after that, she ended up taking a black color where the rhinestone middle of the floral design is. A little, a little more red than the picture. And yeah. I told you, we don't, we can't make like 100 percent the same. Once again, how do you mess up the color like this? Sorry, this is so funny. Guys, I'm back. We need to talk. What is this? Like, okay, so like she told me she can't get the design like 100%. She said it'll be like 70%. But like, this is not even close. Like, how do you go red from like a clear floral design? Like, what? But yeah, it went really bad in there. The girl like cut me. Yeah, and then she put like some weird liquid on my cut. It really burned. No one knew what they put on me, which was really like, what the heck? Like, you don't even know what you're putting on your clients? Like, my nails got messed up. Like, she said she was gonna like fix them and she just put a clear coat over the color that got messed up. So I wasn't really fixing. <laughs> it's all smeared and bad. I guess I kind of moved my finger while she was putting clear coat on and it wasn't fully dry. So yeah, partially I guess my fault, but like I just feel like they could have handled the situation better and not get like so upset and maybe like fixed it, but she just kind of like drew over it and was like, I'm done with you. Um, she did give me a dollar discount. I think she just felt bad because the nails like turned out really bad and I honestly kept saying like, oh, they're so pretty, thank you so much, because I was being so nice. So she was probably like, dang, that girl must have never gotten her nails done. <laughs> like. I decided I need to update you. Like, I'm sorry to interrupt the video, but this is like actually really important. I ended up getting an infection from the two star place. Like this finger is completely infected. It hurts and it's turning yellow. So I, I don't know if I should go to the ER at this point. This confirms that this place does not clean their tools whatsoever. Only in severe cases do they cut off your finger if it gets infected. So. I'm being like so paranoid right now, but um, yeah. Back to the footage, hopefully I'm gonna be okay, but I just wanna update you guys. So now I'm gonna go to the place that is highest reviewed in my area. It has 4.8 stars. I saw really good reviews. Uh, I was looking at the photos, it looks so nice. And just the aesthetic looks really nice. So I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> Let's get going, cause my appointment's in, oh gosh. Oh gosh, it's in eight minutes. So we need to get going. Okay, I am here. Um, this is like the rich part of town, so it's really nice here. I feel a lot less anxiety going in here, even though I'm a f 10 minutes late. Whoops. <laughs> Walking into this nail place was so much nicer than the one I had been in previously that day. Everything was so nice, I felt so comfortable, everything was clean, and this lady did not charge me extra for this coffin shape. I could definitely tell that this nail tech had a lot of skill. I mean, she was really good at everything she did, and she was so gentle. You could tell that she really wanted to make me happy with my nails and not rush through the process. Also, they did play really relaxing music. And wow, look at this fan contrast. It is not in my face. Nothing is blowing in my face. And they also have the safety glass at every station, so I was safe. As you can tell, this drill was so much more gentle than the other one. She was very careful with how she did it and it just was not scary. And then she did the nail art and you guys, she actually put real rhinestones in the middle of the floral design, exactly what I wanted. And look how cute she looks. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. She did such a good job. It actually looks like the photo. Here's like a side-by-side -side comparison of the other nail salon, like what the heck, and the one that she just did. Yeah, you can tell the difference between the two-star and the five-star nail salon. Guys, look at this. This is so pretty. She did it so fast. Like, I came in, I'd say at like 3.45, now it is 4.36. So she did this so fast. The other place took like almost two hours or something like for that one hand. And yes, she fixed my other nail. Like it's still that really bad color that they had originally. Like see, the colors don't match. 
but yeah it was $45 for everything I mean obviously she also fixed my nails so it's not a bad price but just for one hand it was $35 and at the bad place it was $25 so it's literally worth paying an extra $10 to get something nicer you know this was a really fun video to make if you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you're new here and yeah guys i will see you in my next youtube short yeah i'm so excited i want to make more of these longer videos for you guys and yeah i'm super excited all right bye guys